So what's up fellas? I finally hit that 1100 round count threshold. So I'm going to do a little video real quick on this and like the and what I what I've noticed and shit like that. So the first question, I mean the well first thing you're probably asking yourself is how the fuck I why the fuck I keep changing this shit back and forth. If I'm going to be fast on this, I need to make it light as possible. That means taking off the EOTech and all the other crazy shit. So I went back to the light route. I'm going to try to be quick on it and learn that first you know get used to the fundamentals like that so with that being said there's a few things i've noticed on this rifle for one for starters is see the finish it's literally it's literally flaking off but it's what they did on the warranty side see this shit's in my fingernails now but um it's what they did on the warranty side they put some kind of finish on here i'm not exactly sure what they did to it but it is flaking off it's just the, the original finish is coming back now, so it's not that big of a deal. It's not a deal breaker. So let's get into it. Oh, another thing I want to mention too is uh, the brakes completely rusted out. And uh, I'm just going to keep using it. I mean, it's not chrome lined enough, and that was bound to happen, right? Especially how much water this thing is. This thing is really rough. It needs to be cleaned. I have not cleaned it in a while. So, there is that channel lug. Right there, channel lug. Okay, so you guys see that channel lug? It looks like it's going to fold over, but it hasn't. 1,100 rounds through this thing. And, uh, mm, looks like it could do some bad shit. I don't know. It's too early to tell. It looks good. Now, 1,100 rounds ain't shit. Most of you guys know that, but, uh, I'm going to get it up to 2000 and then we'll see how it looks after that. But in my opinion, this looks pretty good. Now, there's one thing to make note of right above my thumb, right above my thumb right here. There's a little gash in the last bolt. It did not have that. So I don't know where that's coming from. I've checked out everything inside the rifle and it looks good. It must just be uh, rubbing wrong somewhere. I'm not sure. But the rifle's functioning and doing everything it's supposed to do. That looks good. Bolt looks good bolt carrier looks good the tail end right there she's getting a little mushed over but it's not a deal breaker either so i'll just kind of let that work itself out as you guys can see it's working itself out right now that um the bolts riding over that and knocking it down so we'll kind of see what happens there otherwise inside the channel looks good all that good shit piston decent wobble blah 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 all right next thing i want to talk about so <laughs> these are two palmetto state armory firing pins right now i don't know if it's the alg actually i'm pretty sure it's the alg but i've heard guys have problems with this shit for a while now these firing pins are uh shitty and this one was starting to get hung up i can't i don't remember which one was from the first ak but is what's happening is the ALG is beating it up so much it's getting a lip at the end. Yeah, I can feel this one has a lip. This one has more of a profound lip right there. And it's getting caught inside the um, bolt there. And you're getting light strikes and shit like that. So that'll cause malfunctions. So if you're going to put an ALG in it, definitely, definitely get like a Romanian firing pin or just from Apex, you know whatever the case is, wherever the cheapest, you know, just get something com block and you won't have to worry about this problem. <clears throat> Otherwise, I put the Romanian one in here and it's definitely, it sticks out a little bit farther than the last one. Hold on, let me focus in. Sticks out a little bit farther than the PSAs, but I'm not, I'm not puncturing primers and shit like that. So it's good to ride. Otherwise, inside the trunnion, Looks pretty fucking good, too. Now, that step right there that I've been talking about for a while, that has not moved at all. That looks really good. In my personal opinion, that looks really good. So, that can just keep on doing this. We're good to go. Otherwise, guys, between the finish and everything else, the rifle looks good. It shoots great. It's a good running rifle. If you guys have one, awesome, awesome. If you don't, you should think about getting one, especially for a beater. Like, um, shit hit the fan rifle. I mean, it's a decent choice, but, like, I have Wasser, obviously, to use. I just practice with this one. So, 
Now, you cannot compare the Wasser to this one because the Wasser's recoil is much more profound than this one. Way more violent recoiling gun than this one. So, yes, I should shoot the Wasser a lot more, but I want to see what the PSA is going to do. That's just where I'm at. I want this fucking thing to last. And for now, it looks good. That's all I got, boys. Be safe. God bless. I'm out.